Hello everyone, Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday, and the rotation leads us to a Bonacle review, and today's of which is on three of the Agori sets from 2009. And they which are Ranu, Barracks, and Metis. So on the front of the box, is or otherwise canisters. See a picture of the set that comes within, and Bonacle logo written in white, the name underneath it, Bonacle.com, and... Also, a tiny Lego logo, and age recommendation, 6 through 16, set number, and the amount of pieces. And also, these uh, casters, of which, same as from the year prior, with the Afatorin sets, where the middle part is thin, uh, thicker paper, and the top and bottom are solid plastic. Where you can just pop it right off, and you can kind of... Pose a per character in it if you want to, but whatever. And also, a little uh, strap that you have to cut off to get inside if you buy it brand new and all. And the sides, of which do have the Bonk logo in white, of course. And on the backs of each one, you see them with the corresponding Glatorians, which these two of which. Expect for next next throwback Thursday. And you see Bonk logo again. And this is Sands in the Wastelands. Bar Magna. And also Barcode. And no three year olds. And all the usual warnings and all. And also with each set. Get a little fold out sheet. Just like any other Torin set. And also, just like the Apatorans, it's just very around four steps to doing so. Unlike with Zests, where it's just like about six steps to it, since he had extra pieces to him. And on the back is, out of all the Agorian Glatorians together, kind of like the uh, Fantoka all did with the with, uh, combination uh, at the bottom, but since they don't connect to anything, it's just shown. And the Epiglatorian logo and Bonkle.com. Yeah. So, first of all, is with the Fire One Ranu. So, first glance yeah. with these Agori sets, of which for around under 20 pieces, every, uh, almost everything is new, except for the hands and head and mask. Because everything else, which, same as from the Avatar and sets, but a few recolors of pieces, like, do you get the newer feet pieces, but in Ketorange, in this case, same pieces as uh, Radiac and Voltraz from the last year, and... Also, same torso piece as a lot of some did. And also, little thing to note is on all the fire characters of the uh, Gatorian Barra Magna line is they had little bits of great to them, and people often kind of complain about that. But little thing to keep in mind: red, fire, gray, ash, fire, ash, same thing together. Make it clear. Anyway, continuing with Ranu here is that the arms of which, which are a uh, Solex uh, limbs, but in dark red this time around, which is great for mock making. And his main weapon, which is the Vakama Hordika's flame sword. But, and also the year 2009, the year we we're introduced to. Uh, actual hand pieces, uh, which was a, which people often were like, love, hate, and all, but me personally, I love that they introduced the hands that makes them feel just about like the movies and all. And also quite like the amount of detail, but unfortunately since they don't open and close and all, since, of course, as you see the bolts bolted into it, but probably use little rods to do that, but it'd be a little too much hassle to do. Although they did kind of get rid of it and add an 
a fourth finger to it with Hero Factory 2.0. And as for the other one, which which is just uh, Matoro's uh, hook blades, but in light red, which we haven't seen, which we previously saw it in Exo Force set, but nice to have here as well. And as for Ranu's uh, mask, which if I take this off, and at this time they attacked a little differently which is onto the top of the head and the head of which which is just like the uh, avatar and sets but upside down but except the connectors on the top but also on the side two on the sides as well and if you can tell that it does look quite a lot like Iron Man a bit and how you attach the mask. And as for Ranu's mask in particular, done quite nicely with a few flames coming off it, just like Malum's and all, and a little gap, you know. But also, how they attach it is instead of sliding it on a forward or where the mouth is, you push from the top. Is whereas with Generation 2, just slide from the sides, of course. And as for those extra connector bits, at least Split Face in Hero Factory Breakout kind of was the first and only one to use those. But anyways, and what else to say? Not much, but yeah. And on to the collector and key character of Legend Reborn, Barracks. And also the thing with most of these Agori sets and this line of which is quite colorful, a lot, a lot of colors to them. Like, as again, the feet pieces, but in dark blue, and the this limb and Solex limbs, but in bright blue, also great, and torso piece, main torso piece, that is in mana blue, and of course the a chronicler staves, but in gold length. Well, brighter gold than on Bertakas and and what Tarks will also have are the regular hand pieces, but in blue as well. And great with Barracks in particular are is Tahu Mata's flame sword in bright blue, probably rep which you can definitely use uh, for a pilot light on something if you want, and a little tube piece. Not sure what for, probably as something that he got for collecting or whatever. And as for and also with both of with, with all the water characters had the uh, headpiece in blue in trans yellow. But it's different on the ice ones which you'll see in a minute. But yeah. But as for the mask of which and you probably have noticed that it's the same as Akar's but of course it's in blue instead of red. But this back part of it does work for both water and fire, of course. With these side cheek guards and all. And of course fit on like so. And if you put some light in, you get a lot of light effect in it. Just like the Avatarin also did. And lastly is the main antagonist and traitor in the Legendary Boar movie, Metis. And also some good, a lot of good recolors is like the new avatar and feet and limbs all in white and the other type of torso piece in bright blue, which is nice for mocking of course, and hands in white. Also, odd thing with him is that uh, Several wikis and things say that he wields an ice axe, which this is, but it's not really an axe, it's an actual sword, like Solex. And also, like the other Agori you see here, is does have a shield, but his is a new piece to it, which is represents a snowflake, which are snowflake like. And of course, 
whereas Gelu in the Gatorian Legends line had these on the back of his arms. But although it didn't make him much icy, but whatever. But although you can kind of use it on like some snow mocks if you want. And where's and onto his helmet and same headpiece but in trans blue as well. But and for a long period of time that these three colors were the only colors for this headpiece, but until Hero Factory Breakout introduced it in a uh, trans green as well. As Metis's helmet of which uh, done quite nicely, a couple of greeble bits to it, and as one says that if you turn it from this way and see these things for that, it kind of makes like a creature's foot from that, uh, which which I think is a good form of it. And of course, just these, the headpiece and the helmet, you can Definitely use for mocking for like his snake form in the from the Legendary Born movie, of course. But also not sure how you can like I'm sure you can figure out how to add fangs onto it, which he in snake form has. And onto it the final verdict. Overall, these I think a fairly good, quite good sets of 2009. Like, plenty of a lot of really colorful, colorful pieces to them. A few new pieces like the helmets, the hands, everything. So, at least 2009 was a good year of pieces, and also some elemental bits to them which we haven't seen since like uh, the Mat Nui saga or whatever. And of course. Barracks did have a good part in Legendary Born, like, you know, called being confused for a thief or collector, and also meant as being a traitor and all. Uh, and of course, for the small prices that they were, uh, kind of good and all. And of course, did, uh, and of course, were a key component in the uh, figure game, which I will mention next next Throwback Thursday in my Glatorians review. Then and yeah. And if you still have these sets from back in the day, well, I hope you had some good memories of them. And for those of you who haven't and still have access to these sets, then I'd say truly go ahead and get them eBay, Bricklink, whatever. And that's about it with this video. And thanks for watching.